Tonight I'm going to bring you to a very interesting night market. It's called Wakaf Chaye. <laughs> I'm not sure whether I pronounced it right or wrong, but in this night market, it is quite long. Uh, it's also recommended by a local friend, saying that if you are coming to Kota Baru, you should visit this uh, night market. It's a little bit away from the town, but um, I would say it's totally worth to come over here. Got that? Uh, you still can manage to take Grab or you can uh, come over here if you have any rental car. It's uh, I think I will go from that side first. It's still a little bit like you know, like a uh, Phuket, like the Patong Market or something. Uh, I parked my car away about 300 meters away but uh, if you are driving you still can park somewhere here I think you have to pay for the parking fee but to me I'm okay to walk a little bit so I can digest and I can eat more I will show you a little bit more about the night market and then I'll let you know that uh, if I found anything interesting so far in this street I see a lot of the clothing store uh, a lot of imitation 35 ringgit each and uh, <laughs> I will think I will focus on more on food so in this store they are selling all the fried stuff the drinks the juices and uh, it is actually quite big though this area and you can also come over here to buy a lot of very nice batik I love the sarong it's very comfortable and let me see I will Wow, I'm quite excited now because I know I can find good local food. Okay, just keep walking. And uh, if you are a Muslim, I think here's a shopping paradise for you because uh, you can really buy a lot of the outfits that are suitable for Muslim friends. And let's keep walking. Currently, it's uh, 8 p.m. now and some of the store are ready to open now so which means that you don't have to rush in to come so early and then you can uh, take your time and come over here so let's uh, walk in around and like I say that uh, if you're Muslim I will strongly uh, strongly recommend you to come over here because uh, uh, I'm sure you can buy a lot of stuff back and they have a lot of toy uh, might not be suitable for you but um, if you want to buy it back as a souvenir, it's still an affordable choice. Okay, and uh, you have to be careful when you come over here because that there are lots of people riding the motorbike without the helmets. So the sarong here is uh, quite affordable. One is 13 ringgit and then they have a lot of options. That's some of the prints that I've never seen before. And there are one lane over there and uh, a lot of print t-shirt selling at 10 ringgit each I think it's very uh, affordable and this is uh, I think it's ice cream so let's see honestly uh, in uh, Malaysia I've never seen a uh, night market that selling so many uh, outfit like the clothing but a lot of imitation uh, like, like certain country that we know but uh, some of the clothing is still new to me that I never seen so many the uh, ladies clothing like like I shown earlier. So if you uh, think that if you need to buy something like that, it's actually it's quite comfortable for ladies. It's only ten ringgit as well, so you can bring it uh, where at the beach. And then um, um there are lots of oil. They uh the the local here they believe that massage with the oil is very important and yay finally coming into the market place and selling some food so you can see that it's 8 p.m now the people are still starting to set up their store and there's a firecracker been so long i never see a firecracker and if you like the squid game you can buy the toy uh, here a lot of masks um this is for the muslim gentleman to use it it's called song kok if i'm not wrong and then let's see what I can show you. Honeydew jagong. Jagong is corn and then the chocolate. And this is a snack from Thailand that you can get it from the 
uh, the big market. And these are the surrounding, which is a uh, meat floss, very tasty. And oh, okay, it's getting more fun. These are the oranges. Hey, uh, let me go to this side. Sometimes I think that if you go Bangkok, you still can see something like that. But I would say that the price here is cheaper than Bangkok. And uh, like guys, like most of the night market, the they don't really arrange it. The what they call it? the department, right? Because like some of them they sell food, some of them they sell toys, some of them they sell different things. So you have to really walk around the night market to explore what you can get and what you can buy. And the uh, people here are still okay. The in a man in a good manner way to for safety distance. And this is called Upon Male, it's five ringgit each. Let's keep walking. I I definitely I'll look for a place for dinner. And uh, most of the items here are selling 10 ringgit each. So if you had a budget to buy something back as a souvenir, then 10 ringgit uh, is your minimum budget. And then the bag is 35 ringgit each. Actually, the quality looks okay, but it's just like the brand, the logo will give you in trouble. And 25 ringgit each for this type of bag. Not bad. And uh, let's see what we can go further down. Yeah, more food. And these are the accessory that is quite affordable as well. 10 ringgit, 20, 20 ringgit and 15 ringgit. You can get like this or silverware. And let's keep walking. They are preparing the drinks. Hello. Okay. And uh, I think we have to walk around to the other side. Yes, it's very nice night market to walk around. And I think the print looks good. Maybe I'll come back later. And then this one also. Oh, I like this print. Chanel. <laughs> okay. The fashion here is acceptable to me. But if you want to buy something good quality, uh, you have to come over here to try first before you purchase it. So this is the food corner. I think we have to go from this side now. This is a very long night market. Uh, okay. Keep going. I think uh, it, it is a shopping paradise for lady. Maybe. Yeah. Like you can really buy a lot of these types of bate. Very comfortable bate. Huh. Leilong. Leilong is means like sales. And then. Uh, Actually, the scarf here are very pretty. You can see that the design. Um, you can just use it as a normal, regular scarf. You don't have to wear it like the Muslim lady. And then, <laughs> this like a grandma wear. Okay, let's keep on walking. It actually, I just found out um, at the other side, there are also a lot of the store as well. So, uh, we can uh, just go a little bit and then we can see what we can expect from this night market. But I think uh, I will just prefer to look for a place that just get food. This neon shirt is very amazing, very good for hiking, very safe. Okay, uh, let me go for a food place. So, um, in Kelantan, Ipoh and many places in Malaysia, they use a lot of the shop houses as a bird nest building so that most of the time you heard all this thing uh, this sound is a pre-recorded to attract the birds to build their nest inside and then they harvest the bird nest oh cat fight cat fight 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 okay not going to fight okay let's keep walking
I saw a bling bling store. Uh, yeah, I believe I have to go these directions. And then, okay, I think I see slightly more food now. They are still preparing. I think I will call it an end uh, over here because uh, I believe that mostly selling almost the same thing but you still can come over here to visit uh, in case you find something useful something you can use it as a souvenir uh, but uh, near to this night market there's one famous uh, grill fish store that you can actually come over here then you go over there to uh, try the grill fish for dinner and like I say they almost sell the similar thing Okay, I hope you like this video. Goodbye.